Hello everybody, my name is Stephen Mottisett and welcome to tut.sm. Now I've got a little tutorial for you today, but first, uh, the, I used to do channel, I uh, used to do tutorials on the name of Idea Games, but had a little changeover. And this is my new channel now, so if you happen to watch any of the tu uh, tutorials on my other channel, then please subscribe to this one as well. And please rate this and uh, comment if you have any problems. So, let's get started. Now, if you've got a Canon camera and you lost a software, or you bought it second hand and it didn't come with any software with it, then you probably went and tried to see if you could download it from the website and you thought you were on luck and you did download it and basically it didn't install because you didn't have the first version installed first. So you were pretty much screwed. So basically what Canon has done is put a little bit of a protection on their software update which will not let you install it without having the other one installed first. Now this really doesn't make any sense to me but I don't know but there's a way of getting around it so I'm just going to show you that how to do that today. So what you want to do is click on support and then you want to click on the product then you want EOS uh, cameras and then select your camera and uh, mine is 600D and software this takes a little bit of time to just work the way through sometimes it's quicker sometimes it's not but you've got to click it then put on the, uh, the operating system that you are using i'm on um the latest version of apple mac and you don't need to select that one just click search now you want to click on the utility now this is where I stop. I will download it just because of keepsakes. But you want, uh, I cannot actually install this version because it's already installed. But I can still show you how to do it. Now, I've actually downloaded uh, the other software, but you can also download, which will not install. But um, it's the file is in exactly the same location. So I can just show you from that. So you just need to unzip it and unzip it. Uh, double click. Now this is a big part. You want to drag it to desktop. And then close this. And I can just close this as well. Now when you drag it to your desktop, now you need to double click it. And this will give you that warning that this cannot be installed. So you can just close out of that. Now you've got to double click it to go through that. It will not work. It'll just say the file has been corrupted and you won't be able to do it. So you've got to double click it. Now you've got to right click it and show package contents and then contents and resources and then this one here, info. And what you want to do is just take the O off it or change the name completely and just exit that out. And now you want to double click it, and then you can see it's extracting files. And there you go, it's ready to install. So this is just basically pretty much the installer. I won't be running through that because it's just a simple installer really, so you don't really need to know. So I hope you found this useful. Please like and comment and uh, subscribe and hope to see you soon again. Thank you for watching.